Welcome back to Timber Bonus. We've added words at the bottom, much to the annoyance of my editor. Now you can sing along with me. As I come up with something deep and meaningful to say, like engineers are the uh, best. That didn't quite fit. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to season four, episode nine. We're continuing the season. Uh, I did ask you guys at the end of the last episode, do you want to continue this season or do you want to see a new map or something? And everyone unanimously agreed. I got a bit cocky. I should definitely see if my master dam plan, uh, if that actually works in terms of getting water down and whether the super, uber, uber mega dam actually gets finished. Uh, now at the end of the last episode, we were, yeah, we got 13 days remaining of this draft. Out. I mean, actually, that seems quite a lot. I thought I usually have. I thought I usually have water stored like here. Why is this dam open? I thought this dam was meant to be shut so that I can store water back here. Okay, I may have forgotten that. Um, I mean, the good thing is, if we come over here, do you remember we built these? They're like flooded log pumpers. Uh, so as these four are like lowering the water level by pumping their wood, yeah, you can see their straws, they're only so long. And once they can't slurp up any more juice, we're going to be swapping to those guys. Um, we'll probably have to, yeah, we're probably going to have to like lower this dam uh, just to get some more water down here. Because the, the sort of key to survival at the moment is keeping this area green. We need this to be filled with water so our food source of carrots doesn't die and but yeah i was also i was sort of thinking for this perhaps perhaps i should go and build like a new colony and rather than i feel like i sort of like i send people over like i, I sent people over to here to uh heavy metal turn and um, i also sent people over to this one this is boomtown the road stops here they are they're finally finishing up the final bit of dam which means the water should get down very nicely. Now, some people in the comments, they actually slated this design. They said, Matt, you've just missed out on all this water storage. Well, no, no, I haven't. Because if you like, if you look now, this dam is sort of as high as it will go. But you already store like all that water around the back there, all the way to there. Um, I mean, yeah, potentially, I guess we could store more water. But I feel like, again, probably being cocky. But I feel like we're storing, we're storing enough water that we don't need to like completely back up the helix. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for a 30 day dry season though and see if I regret my decision. Plus, do you really want me to undo this guy's hard work and re like dig up all these all these dams, replace them with floodgates? Hey, look at his little face. He's been working so hard on this and you commenters want to undo all that. Anyway, he's actually finished that now. So that is fantastic. I think this is pretty much all good to go. Uh, but yeah, I sort of had a little thought, like perhaps a way to sort of keep these this guy pumping a bit longer. I could literally just make all of this deeper. Now, I may have to rip up all these pumping stations because I don't think I can plant dynamite like under the straws but I guess for now only one way to find out so we're going to put some steps down so they can get into it and basically you can see I've got, I've got 38 dynamite so why don't I just make this deeper because then we're storing more water that we can keep pumping because basically the deeper this is the more water we can store but yeah I am I am gonna have to move these up just to get the dynamite like under the straws that's quite annoying actually I'm all like there that's planting the dynamite from the bridge or from the dam. John T. Wood Bridge. Oh, he loves it. It is a bridge. He loves a bridge. Oh, John T. And we've got Haz there as well. Placing the dynamite. Oh, and another one. That is Velcro Badger. I mean, I didn't know we had badgers in our beaver colony. But nice. That should get underway. That should sort of help us in the future as well. Uh, meanwhile, I think we should go over to Heavy Metal Turn and see how they're getting on with this dam. I was actually sort of thinking a few changes could be required. Uh, mainly just in terms of aesthetics. Like, at the moment, all the water is going to flow over like everywhere. And I don't think I actually want it to do that. I sort of want the water to like stay in this middle bit. So basically, I want that middle, the width of this like channel to be the level it is there. But on, on the sides, I think I want them higher just so the water only goes down the middle. Because uh, then we can like potentially like plant down there if we wanted to. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through. I just, I just built that one, your knobs. And if I delete like over to there-ish and then sort of same on this side. I think I want to go over to like there. Delete that. Levies all along the top. That will work fine. I just need to replace those damn pieces with levies. Uh, can I do it to that one before they build that? Let's quickly get rid of that. Pong that back in. All right, jobs are good. And so they should be able to sort that now. Uh, I might give them access to like those trees. So that up to there. Plonk a lumberjack flag there. Select all those trees to be cut down. All right, and then they're a bit more self-sufficient. I am actually actually planning to like give these guys like a hope well actually they've, they've got homes i am planning to give them like food and water and stuff like 
their own ones so they can become self-sufficient. Because I feel like I do sort of, like, as I expand out, as I build my different my different district centers, I make them, like, well, they only do, like, one thing. Like, why don't I just, like, start a brand new colony? Like, literally make them self-sufficient. Don't know, but at least this side, I know I can't really do that until this water level gets up. Because then I'll have some, like, green land. At the moment, it's all it's all brown. I can't grow crops or anything. Right, also, in order to make the, the sort of transfer of goods a bit more efficient over in Heavy Metal, I'm going to get another storage, a small warehouse that can go there. Let's high prioritize that just so I don't forget. Uh, the warehouse over here, I'm going to change like you can like you can say what you want stored. Don't store anything except for scrap metal because that's the whole point of heavy metal turn. They bring the scrap metal to here and then I swap the paths and that ends up over this side, which means we can smelt it over here because at the moment, yeah, there's there's no, there's no material. So I may as well pause these for a second. So pause that, pause that. Uh, likewise, I think I'm going to reduce the builders because are we at, I don't think we're actually building anything on this side, but uh, I feel like I should try and get my science up. We don't have a lot of science at the moment. We've got 400 and I want to unlock some good stuff. Like the golem stuff is going to need some fat science. Ooh, perhaps I could get an observatory. That will get us loads of science. Oh man, it does take four beavers though. So that is like, it's still it's still way better than event huts. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I also, I might like give these guys some more like places to hang out. They've got this like rooftop bar area. This is where, this is where the beavers played. Good times, the Beebles. Uh, remember, you can get your Beebles t-shirt from my merch store now, if that interests you. And but yeah, I was, I was sort of thinking, perhaps I should get them some, like, some more things to do. I could get them a shrine, get them a Lido, a temple, a heat, like, all this stuff. But whilst everyone's waking up and going to work, in here, there is there is little baby beaver. Four-year-old real duck scrubber. Um, you can see, like, all of their needs here. Now, we've... We... <laughs> We haven't filled up many of these, but basically the more we can fill these up, then the like the better they work and things. And like to be honest, I feel like I'm still I haven't quite got over the time we blew up Planners Over Architect. Well, I had no idea what I was doing. So I feel like to honor them, particularly as they were they were the, the sacrifice for Boomtown to survive, I'm actually going to build a temple. Uh, 400 science to unlock. That's pretty much all my science, but I think it's worth it for planners over architects. So let's unlock that for 400 science points. And then let's shove this down over here. Uh, so now the guides of engineering turn, they have something to build. That is good. And uh, that will give that will give our beavers some spirituality. Uh, meanwhile, down here, it looks like, is that water level a bit low if we just glitch through? Oh, Oh, yeah, that water level is very low. So, phase one of the super, super mega plan or something. Uh, we're going to let some water out. And you remember, this isn't going to be as bad as it usually is. Because whilst the water level is dropping back here, you can see you can see the straws. They are getting closer and closer to not sucking up anything. Uh, it is revealing these four log pumping stations. So we can just swap the beavers. Now, we're letting water down here. That should come around. I tell you what, I do actually need. I feel like it would be sensible to put like a shortcut in. Because this water, it has to go all the way around here. All the way around there. Like that is a long old journey a long old journey come on water come on water you gotta come top her up get okay, sort of me i think i might have to let more water out if i'm honest oh actually we've let too much water out hey why is my dam not working it keeps letting water through without going through like the water it should can you see like that level that's where the water should flow over not down here all right i tell you what we need we need we need a beaver that's capable of helping i just pause let's go find someone all right you're sat in your ass what can you do oh are you full of gears oh welder nick's full of gears i was gonna say like welder nick can you come weld this dam shut yeah because we, we appear to have a leak but um yeah, we'll leave you there but yeah he's 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 completely full of gears i think we need more storage so let's get another large warehouse and but yeah and also up here i think Yes, the log pumpers, if you look at their straws, if we just zoom in, look, it's way above the water level, which means none of those guys are pumping. So if we if we pause those four, then they should all move down here. Yeah, we got Ant D. King, got Montana Williams, Nolan Does Stuff, and Hillbilly Dave. They're all down there. They're gonna be they're gonna be pumping their logs a lot closer to the water. This was all like unaccessible to us, but not anymore. Now, I feel like that's like the first like proper bit of engineering I've done. I mean, I mean, I did build the mega super uber uber dam. But yeah, that's pretty pretty intelligent in my opinion. All right, we've got 3.6 days left of the drought. I did actually just have a thought. 
Yeah, I know, dangerous. I might sort of expand my my little other my other districts because I feel like like there's quite a few beavers here now. I'm gonna try and get them to build like their own smelters. I feel like taking scrap metal back and forth is sort of it's a bit of a waste if I'm honest. I feel like I'd be better off just smelting the scrap metal over in heavy metalton and then just sending that back as and when needed. So yeah, first bit of self-sufficiency will need a water pump. Obviously, you are gonna be waiting until the dam's filled up before their straw reaches. Yeah, these guys are gonna want some wet fur as well, so let's shove a shower over there as well. Nice, that's a that's a very nice little area. Now I don't know how high the water level is gonna go down here. Like, the water level should be about there, so it's gonna be somewhere where my mouse line is along there. So presumably some of this top area will be green, but not all of it. Um, oh, and the drought has ended. The drought has ended, so we can finally see will my master plan of dams work. Um, oh, and over here I should probably I should probably explode the the dynamite. So let's just give that a detonate. No, 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 no. stop. Stop! How do I stop it? How do I stop it? Oh, that was close. You literally don't get any closer to explosions than you just got, mate. So that is accelerate. Accelerate? Is that meant to be? Oh, crazy. Right. I think I'm going to detonate those as well. Oh, mind yourself, kids. <laughs> Look at now. I, I need to be a bit more careful with these dynamites. Oh, man. I can't believe I nearly blew up another beaver. <laughs> I just didn't see him at all. I thought it was completely empty. Oh, but yeah, the drought is over, which should mean, if we follow this all the way back, this should be filling up. Let's just fast forward. Yeah, there you go. The water's filling up, which means that will flow down here. And as it comes down, down this way into our colony, if I detonate that, boosh, then uh, we should get some water pumpers that can pump all that extra water in there. Decent. Um, oh, and look, you reach a new well-being high score of 10. Bloody hell. Yeah, I think... Oh, look. Is that because the shrine's completed? <gasps> Whoa. Look at that. Look, there's a little baby beaver in that. Who's that? Baby Thomas Rito Strub. Ah. Uh, <gasps> it's working. Yes. Oh, we missed it, but it's working. So this is where the water spawns from in the middle of the map, like the huge helix. Now you can see in just a day of the next dry season, the water's, because it's gone through my shortcut, uh, it's back into this bit, which means these are filling up. And then we're back in these. Oh, decent. that's actually really cool. It worked. It worked perfectly. So yeah, we're finally in a wet... Oh, what? <laughs> we got a drought coming in three days. Well, that's sort of annoying. I was hoping I could like fill up everything with water. Uh, I think that's really why you need these shortcuts like in so that you can like get the water down before the next dry season okay, so yeah as water is coming down here it should overtop that dam and that means i can raise this one up now so yeah you can see that's sort of filled up with water then we're gonna fill up that so we're storing all of that water all right decent water under control i feel like logs are very low i think that's probably because we're building so much stuff no work is available we'll just high prioritize that and the king's gone in there so he should start cutting down some of these trees yeah we do need to be careful these ones because we are are getting the old these are chestnut trees so we're, we're plucking chestnut from those and then they're being cooked in these nice roasted chestnuts and um, again that needs logs as well so yeah we're we're proper slacking on logs all right so nice this is looking good oh no look the blooming the drought has started already <laughs> at least you have these log pumpers they are pumping like the double depth i should probably if i blow up that dynamite boosh i can put another log pumper in there so that's a double depth one uh, so yeah let's let's raise that because there's water coming over there still i should probably just store all that oh cock cock ah pause 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 ah the water's how did that water get so i feel like this dam's like broken like honestly how would this have run out of water already we're like one day we're not even a day into the dry we're like three hours into the dry season does this dam not work all right well we've got to let some water back into it because look it's about to empty i know there are there are showers here using up a bit of water but surely it shouldn't be drying up that quickly right okay i think that's disaster averted i thought i feel like this dam's not working properly though but yeah right now we can head back over here because uh look they've been they've made some decent progress with the dam uh, that guy's he's got no more logs to cut so yeah we'll pause that and yeah basically all these things they need logs and they don't why don't you have any logs i feel like we might need to um might need to up the number of distribution post people or is it just because we're not cutting down it might just be we're not cutting down enough logs don't know we'll have to monitor that i think we've got 15 days remaining of the dry season i've just noticed this is like completely they've sucked up all the water so what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna delete those pop dynamite on there. That's where the spouts were. Oh, and over here, look, they, fi they finish all the dynamite. So, let's give that a bit of a boosh, 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 boosh
Boosh. That's all that exploded. I think if I want them to get over and build those, I'm going to have to do some more steps down. So yeah, we'll detonate those four. And then rather than building these two straight away, I feel like I may as well. I let's just keep going deeper. Cool. So that should be pretty useful. Oh, I need to I need to prioritize those stairs as well, actually. So the beavers can get down there. Right. Nice. Um, oh, over this side. Look, in heavy medicine, we've built the log pumper. You can see this beaver. He is not pumping his log. The great engineer Khan, he does not stroke his log for anyone, uh, mainly because if we spin around, his, his log is not long enough. He cannot get to the wasp beneath. Um, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna pause you, mate. You're you're sacked. Uh, we really we just gotta get this damn. Ooh ooh. Oh yeah, that's gonna look epic when it's done. And we're not just look epic. It's gonna act epic as well. Now, I mean, we actually we have the potential. If the if the green doesn't go back far enough, I could like dynamite like a sort of area for farming, just so it's like a bit lower to the water. All right. So the dynamite is done. So let's blow up those ones on top. Oh no, there's a beaver coming. There's a beaver coming. Oh, thankfully explosion don't skip from high level to low level otherwise that guy might have been exploded nolan does stuff yeah, that might be the last stuff you ever did but yeah let's fill up that new gap with dynamite as well uh, let's head back over to heavy metal turn and see how they've got on with the dam oh it looks is it done is it done Oh, no, look. Why haven't they done that bit? This construction site is too far from a district. What? Oh, no, look. They can only build up to there. I think because I only pathed up to that bit. So path, plonk that along there, along there, along there. And now when we click back on there. Yes, okay. They can now build that, which means the super, uber, duper, uber, mega dam. <laughs> I'm sure the name is something like that. It's going to be done. Look, look at all them. They're all carrying their logs over. Even the little baby one at the back. <laughs> Who is that little baby? Cheesecake 701. Oh, he's only one year old. But yeah, those guys are coming across. I should probably, I should probably build something so he can fix his teeth, that guy. A teeth grindstone only costs five logs. Yeah, let's get one of those in. All right, there he is at the beaver dentist. He's coming over and, oh, <laughs> oh it's so painful. <laughs> Oh, I hate watching it. I hate watching it. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, you can see his broken teeth bar going down. And now he's fine. Yeah, I'm very excited news that the final two pieces of dam is going in. And then we just want to delete all these dam ones. Like... <laughs> Not bad ones. I mean, literally damn pieces. Then replace them with levees like that. And then water should only flow through the middle of that. Uh, meaning we're going to hold back slightly more than we would have done. And it should give us access to like these areas to farm down here. So getting some steps down is probably our next priority. If we do like that down to there. And down here we can place a farmhouse. And not going to lie, I probably would be a bit scared to build at the bottom of a dam. But I trust the beavers. I feel like they are the, the engineers of the natural world. Um, but then we can just plant carrots like all the way down here and then that will supply the heavy metlers with some food decent oh by the way check out check out this place at night it's like it's rammed with people all remembering planners over architects <laughs> oh i still i still feel bad i can't be only blew up that other beaver as well earlier all right well let's get to the end of this dry season and then i guess let's see i want to see our actual roots working like in real time oh no 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 I've this water run out. Ah, ah, ah. Right, we need to we need to we need to release water quick. Swap these water pumpers. It was pretty low. It went down to like 300. I don't know how it just jumped up suddenly. Uh, oh no, look down here. Look what we've done. Thankfully the water is coming back. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh man. Thankfully nothing died. Because uh, basically these carrots, like if they don't get water for a while, they, they will dry out and die. And then you have to like replace them all. Uh, I think you have like a day or two to uh, to get them water again before that happens. Um, but by the way, check it out. Look, 0.3 days and then it's the wet season. So I guess that means we've just got dynamite set off. Any beavers down there? Nope. Okay, let's detonate that. Boosh. And then as that explodes, we've got like extra depth so we can rebuild the water pumpers along this edge. So we'll high prioritize those because yeah, water is really low. We're down to 300. A little bit scary that, but look, it's the end of the of the drought. As we saw last time, the water source over this end, that floods down there. So the river flows, it then splits off. I, I mean, I could dam like along there, but I don't think I want to force any more water down here. Like I guess it might speed it up slightly but uh, that's fine but yeah the main one i want to watch is over this way because in a day the water's to there now before i think the water would just be like going around this curve but if we follow this through the night time as the sun rises the next day it's pretty much 
all the way back into the dam. Uh, so we have super just made that like so much more efficient in getting water down. I could add another shortcut. But yeah, for now, I think that's okay. Meanwhile, down here, you'll notice because there's water coming from this area. Look, look down here. We've got, we've got the super uber mega dam filling up finally. And I'm hoping I can store a lot more water this season. I mean, probably no harm in building a few more water storages. Um, oh, no, what? 2.8 days and there's another drought already. Um, right, let's... Okay. Okay, we gotta, we gotta try and store some water. So pump all those. Let's start raising the floodgates. I wanna get that one up to 1.5. Yes, nice. This is this is filling up with water, which means I can unpause the pump over there. Look, his tip is nearly getting wet. It won't be long until it's it's right in there. No, we just need we just need a bit more water to come down. Hopefully we will be able to do that before the drought happens in 1.5 days. But uh, how far is the water? Oh, the water's about to go over it. Oh yes, it's worked. It's worked. Oh, and you can see the greenness up here. We could make all of this farms. So these guys are literally going to be self-sufficient now. All right, decent. Just like that, the drought has started. Let's let's just hit pause and see how we're doing. It's a 20-day drought. Oh, we never actually got enough water that this over top. But at least if we're storing that much already, I think next wet season, we should actually see the water flowing down. At least we, we know that like the farms, they're always going to be green down here pretty much. Because uh, yeah, that whole wet season, no water left the map down here. That's insane. So yeah, hard mode, you really need to like try and work out how to stop all the water leaving. That is cool though. I'm loving this. The shortcut worked. Assuming there's no beavers underwater, let's detonate. Boosh. That was a risk, actually. I probably should have looked. No, all good. All good. Nice. So, yeah, overall, I think I've sort of potentially conquered hard mode again. Um, but I actually I actually proved it this time because we survived super long droughts. I mean, there's apparently 30-day droughts. We're only on 20-day droughts. So I will keep going. But uh, for now, I'll say peace, love, and super, uber, duper, uber, mega dams that have different names every time I say it, probably. Bye, guys!